Good morning, everyone. In today's video, I will continue from the previous work that we've done in the twist modification with the non-uniform uh, bias system that we have. And if you remember in the previous video, we managed to create a twisted tower with a non-uniform uh, value for that twist controlled by a new defined parameter we call it bias that allow us to change uh, the condition and the amount of uh, the twist and even the direction of the bias whether it goes uh, upward or downward and th that's a very basic uh, third modification or third parameter we had added actually to the to the to the collection so even the name is a little bit going to be long so I just started to shorten it and in uh, this I'm gonna add uh, actually we're gonna continue from what we have so the non-uniform twist that's the first thing that we have the bias and now I'm gonna add limits parameter for our work Here is the limit uh, parameter. The limit parameter is basically uh, dealing with the twist object and in a, in, in a matter that you prevent the twist into a specific area. Basically we're gonna create a lower limit as you can see here and an upper limit as you can see. In a lower limit uh, the dynamo will leave the beginning from the beginning of the object to a specific levels or a specific height you want then then start that with whether it's a uniform or a non-uniform twist and then from the top of the object or from the end of the object to a specific levels or a distance uh, that will be the end of the twist and the beginning of the end uh, that will be specified in the limit area uh, the upper one and the lower one will be left intact without any rotation. You can have lots of possibilities as you can see it started from zero uh, lower limit and then go all the way and then you go and have an upper limits or as you can see in here on both uh, upper and lower limits. Anyhow so let's have a look and let's continue from where we stopped uh, last time uh, in the video that we have and I think it was number three so now in, 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 uh, in number four I will just go ahead and create a, a, a very basic uh, twist in here and go over you know the 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 the, the nodes that we have and in here we have you know the the solid by loft and we have the geometry rotation which is the core uh, you know modifier that we have uh, that create the twisted for us and we control the whole overall thing with the degree you know the whole headache came from the, the ability to you know control this degree creating this complex list as we as I actually described in the previous video so I'm going to continue from that what we really need now as the pictures might you know show for you it's like it's like you have a lower limit so a lower list and then an upper list a uh, control of course by a specific parameters and in the big in the middle uh, let's assume there is middle of course because you can make that zero like this one so just lower and upper so whatever but in 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 in, in the best case scenario or actually it's worst case scenario we have a three list one two three you can go ahead and make one of those lists as zero ending to have two lists like a twist list and a, a, a limit list and that's um, you know that's a, that's a different uh, that's a different set but you again you can make that or you can make non uh, non limits which is in this case is going to be end up like a normal twist it's it's okay as all the possibilities has been done but the point in 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 the, in the worst case scenario you're going to have a three list so one two and list two the upper and lower uh, will be controlled by limits and it's supposed to have no rotation and the middle list will have our all previous work within it so in order to, 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 to reflect this idea always think it you know and sketch it mentally and then see what you want as a tool and then reflect that back to Dynamo so that list, so this guy or this uh, node actually will gather the three lists that we have the upper list and the middle one and the lower one so this guy here should go and send the information to the middle list as you can see the upper list will be made as I said from uh, an upper list and a lower list will be made like a very basic uh, value that has been actually repeated all the way from the beginning to the end so what I'm going to do I'm gonna go list cycle because I'm gonna repeat the same value so if I'm going to do the lower limits let's say it's a list 
a lower one let's say it doesn't have any rotation so I'm gonna assume the rotation will be zero it's not an assumption it's really more uh, of a fact because you're gonna start up and your, if there is no rotation that that's mean it's zero of rotation give that and create your own list okay and an amount of a repetition controlled by you so you need a slider here an integer one of course and I'm gonna call that uh, let's say lower limits uh, levels so how many levels you want with a with a uh, with a specific you know non rotation so I'm gonna say a limit of a 10 in here Reci sorry cycle that here and give me this list so this is beautiful because I will say that for the first 10 levels there is no rotation, so those are zero, zero will be giving here. So that's the lower limits. I'm gonna, let's say, assume it's actually here. So that's the beginning of that. So I'm gonna assume that in here. All right. So that's first. Probably you need to repeat that guy here. And I'm assuming again I'm gonna end up with zero. It's strong, of course, I'm not, but just to illustrate the concept for you. So our new list will be made of the beginning, zero, 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 so on. And then, you know, the value of the rotation that we really paid lots of attention to it. And at the end of that, you should have your last 10 values, you know, with zeros again. We say that's wrong. It should be the last value in here. So let's that let's see, let's let's fix this. It's, it's, it should be end with the same value that the end rotation uh, specifies. It should be end with twenty two hundred and seventy. If you place it hundred and eighty, it should be a hundred and eighty. It should be ninety or whatever whatever value of rotation you provided. So let's go fix this issue now. Go to the value of the rotation here, the two seventy and just apply it for the list so this is all will be 270 this guy the poor guy will not no, no need it anymore so you can see that you end up with a 270 and the rest should continue from the last value again so far so really good and you can go ahead and connect that into whatever you know the degree here but the problem is you have he has specified already 74 level and where that comes from just to refresh your memory is here you forget you know like you have a specified 73 uh, we said remember if you, you need to subtract one before you get it because it's going to create extra one level for you uh, by calculating the first one as a level anyway but the point is this is gained from the amount of the, the actual levels or floors that you actually specified by yourself in the beginning so that's scary now we're having an extra 10 that's mean it should those tens should be subtracted out of this very long list in the middle so what we really need to do that's that's we set up the joint of those three lists correctly now what we really need is a very basic code and I'm just gonna say a which is the overall floor uh, amount which is the 73 or 74 or whatever we should subtract from them a combination of a two values which is B and C those will be simply B will be you know the upper limit values and the C will be the lower level values so I'm going to you know jump in here uh, where is it that's the 74 and I can just take the 74 out of those countless that guy here So that's A, 74 minus B, you should gain that, you know, uh, here, that's a list again, uh, so you need to count, so I'm going to go list dot count that for me, so how many you specified here, that's 10, of course that's for the lower limits, okay, so it's really a good idea now as this is a new input is to place it really far away and you know just here in the in the left side as we agreed same thing to be done in here so I'm gonna just control and move this guy 
and I'm going to give this, you know, I, I still believe it's me, I made the name incorrectly, because if those guys are the lower, this guy should be, you know, the upper, whatever, you know, you know what I mean. So those are the upper values, so you get uh, this dude here, give it as a C, you get yourself a, 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 a 50, uh, 4 because we have 74, 10, and then 10, so we get ourselves 54. The value, beautiful. So move that guy, the upper limits, to come on, yeah, to the left side where all the inputs are placed. No, nothing changed, of course, nothing will be because first I did not connect this dudes here to the degree. Now, when I connected. It's look ah wrong of course because that's our first ten and then you know the seventy four and then it's ten still we're missing for another ten I think and the reason it's mistaken it's actually if you go back to the one who create the rotation it actually has nothing to do yet with the amount of change you have nothing to do with the fifty four it's still reading. 74 if you remember that we have the sine wave and we have a zero from an assumption in number of a 90 to get the you know the non-uniform thing that we've done that's why I get this a uh, as a 74 out of the calculation counting for this dude you know the range very basic thing you need to change the 74 to the 40 to the 54 what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this number as you we found from the both list dot count connect those two things here and I'm gonna get myself around 54 value and immediately you're gonna see this work perfectly as you can see in here as it take you know the degrees or the steps to jump from 0 to 90 out of those values anyhow uh, let's finish this so if I go here let's say uh, 20 in here and you can see that it goes up I can go another 20 here and you're gonna see that goes down and the amount of distortion happening in here is less I can go a bias of 1 as you can see it's worked so fine uh, for me you can go ahead and, and, and of course test it by yourself to see what type of results you can get in any errors I'm very happy to help you with anyway guys that's the upper and lower limits parameters been defined and added to our twist uh, set of work thank you very much for watching and have a good day bye bye